Hello students, welcome to our class again. This time we're going to talk about analytical expositions. What is analytical exposition? An analytical exposition is an argumentative text which showcases the writer's point of view on something. What is the generic structure of analytical exposition? An analytical exposition text consists of three parts. The first is thesis, the second arguments, and the third is conclusion. Thesis. Thesis contains the topic of the text or the writer's point of view on something and the outline of the arguments. From the thesis, the readers can guess what the writer will discuss in the next paragraphs. Therefore, the outline should be very clear in the thesis paragraph. Arguments. Arguments are evidences provided by the writer to support his or her opinion or position. The more arguments are given, the more convinced the readers will be. Conclusion In the conclusion paragraph, the writer restates his or her position. It can look approximately the same as the thesis. Language features Analytical exposition texts use simple present tense, use conjunctions such as besides, in addition, further, but, however, meanwhile, etc. in order to combine sentences or words. The other feature is evaluative words. For example, important, valuable, significant, and crucial. Now, let's come to a sample of analytical expositions. Let's start with a preparation. For example, the topic of the writing is the importance of wearing masks to prevent the spreading of coronavirus. Please remember, in this text, it does not persuade readers to wear masks, but only to give reasons why it is important to wear masks in public. Because persuading readers to do something is the job of hortatory exposition. After we have decided the topic, we continue to the thesis or the outline. Remember, the outline must contain all the things that are going to be explained or discussed by the writer in the next paragraphs. Now, let's make the outline. So, in the outline, we start with the topic and then we break it down into some points. For example, Wearing masks in public by all people in the world can prevent the spread of the viruses. And then we break this topic down into some points. The first point is masks stop the spread of viruses into the air from humans. The second point is masks prevent the viruses from entering the human respiratory systems. And the third point is many countries in the world have proven the effectiveness of wearing masks to avoid the spread of viruses. However, the last point is reduced or is not used from this list because the writer does not want to make the text too long because of limited space, for example. Actually, there are many reasons why you use the argument or not. The next thing is to give the first arguments. The first argument or supporting details for wearing masks in public. Again, we have to break down 
this point into some subpoints. The first one, masks can be found easily. The second one, masks consist of few layers of clothes. The third one, doctors and medical attendants use special masks to protect them. However, again, the last point is not used because the writer does not want to spend too many words in their paragraph. The next step is to break down the point of masks stop the spread of viruses into the air from humans. So, we have to give detailed information to make this point understandable. In this case, the writer gives four arguments or four sub-arguments. The first, the cloth layers of masks are useful to stop the spread of virus from virus carriers. The second sub-argument, there are people who do not look sick but carry viruses in their bodies. The third sub-argument, the viruses can go out to the air if the carriers do not wear masks. The four sub-arguments, the viruses cannot get to the lungs because they are held in the first layer of the masks. However, again, the writer don't, doesn't think that the last point is necessary because the other three sub-arguments can make the readers understand his position. After that, we continue to break down the next point, which is masks prevent the viruses from entering the human's respiratory systems. We can break it down into three points or three subpoints. The first, viruses can be available in the air. The second, viruses can be breathed in by humans. The third point, or the third sub-point, is masks can prevent the viruses from entering human's respiratory system. And the last part is the conclusion part. In this conclusion part, we restate what we have done or what we have written in the first paragraph. So, in this text, we can have conclusion like this. Wearing masks can prevent the spread of the viruses by stopping the spread of viruses into the air from humans and preventing them from entering the human's respiratory systems. Finally, if we have to make an outline of the text, we would have this outline. Now, let's start writing. Please remember to use connectors or conjunctions when necessary. And after that, read again and revise when necessary. Now, let's read the sample paragraph. This is, for almost a year, the whole world has been terrorized by the pandemic of coronavirus. However, people should not be too worried because this situation can be handled more easily if all people follow the government's instruction to wear masks outside their houses or in public. Wearing masks can prevent bacteria or viruses from spreading so widely in the air and entering humans' respiratory systems. In this thesis, we can learn that there are three things that are going to be discussed by the writer in the text. The first is about wearing masks. The second is about preventing bacteria or viruses from spreading so widely in the air. And the third one is preventing bacteria or viruses from entering humans' respiratory systems. The next paragraph is the supporting detail about wearing masks. 
this could be the sample. What I mean by masks here are the masks made of cloth which are used to cover parts of our face. A good mask is made of a few layers of cloth which bacteria or viruses cannot easily go through. There are different kinds of masks with different prices too. Some masks are disposable, but there are masks which can be washed and therefore can be reused. These kind of masks are not expensive and available in stores. The next paragraph is the arguments about preventing viruses from getting into the air from humans. When using masks covering their mouth or nose, people still can breathe but the tiny holes in the cloth prevent bacteria or viruses to go out to the, the air easily. Among billions of people in the world, there are virus carriers who do not realize that they have viruses inside their body and the viruses can move to other people through air that they breathe out. Due to their good immune systems, this type of people do not realize that they can endanger people around them because they do not feel ill or have the symptoms of sick people. If these people use masks, they avoid endangering others by spreading viruses to the air when they breathe, sneeze, or cough near others. The next paragraph contains arguments which talks about preventing viruses from getting into human respiratory systems. Another function of wearing masks is to prevent people from getting viruses from the air. As masks consist of three layers of cloth, people still can breathe quite easily, but viruses cannot enter the respiratory systems. The viruses are held by the layers of the masks and cannot get into human lungs, which is very dangerous. Finally, we come to the conclusion. In this part, the writer is restating his or her opinion. The content is not far different from the first paragraph. WHO advises every person in the world to wear masks in public in order to prevent the coronavirus from spreading to other people through their noses, mouths, and eyes. Wearing masks is not only preventing a person from getting infected by virus, but also from disseminating the virus to other people. It is a simple way to end the pandemic in the world. So, we can see in this last paragraph or in the conclusion part, we cannot find the persuasion for the readers to do something. What we find here is only what the writer thinks about wearing masks. That is all our discussion about analytical exposition text. Thank you for your attention. God bless you.